חל על העליון לה יהוו בהשם אשר יהוו שי בהשם רחה קודש דבר אנס די אפוסטל זדל זו קריאת מוסטום סלוטיישן סטודי לק בפושן לתרות of the scriptures, the holy bible, in righteousness and sincerity and truth, in all honesty, Hawa Bahasham Yahawashai, who can understand the holy bible? That's a question. The answer is simple, it's Yasharala, or Israel, which are the so-called so Negroes, Amerindians, Latinos, Hispanics, Native Americans, and Confucian faces. If your bloodline goes back to an Israelite man, of those he sent, mentioned, then you're an Israelite. If you believe in this word, then you are an Israelite. And who can understand this holy Bible? This is 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 15. Thanks be to Yahweh for his unspeakable gift. Thanks be to the Most High for his unspeakable gift. And I hope at the end of this lesson you understand what the unspeakable gift is and who it's for. This is Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 1. Now therefore hearken, O Israel, unto the statutes and unto the judgments which I teach you, for to do them, that ye may live, and go in, and possess the land which Yahweh the power of your fathers giveth you. Alright, and that's just a verse I used to show that it was the children of Israel the Most High speaking to. This is Deuteronomy 4 and 5, to verse 9. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as Yahweh my power commanded me, that ye should do so in the land whither ye go to possess it. And this is Moses talking to the children of Israel. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. So clearly you see that there is already a, a segregation. Most sides showing bias towards a specific people. For what nation is there so great who hath the Most High so nigh unto them, as Yahweh our power is in all things that we can call upon Him? And what nation is there so great that hath statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law which I set before you this day? And the answer to that question is Israel, Yahshuaq, the so-called Negroes, Amerindians, Native Americans, Latinos, Hispanics, and Confucian faces. There's like foreigners that look like the other nations, like the Caucasians, the East Indians, the Chinese, etc. Only take heed to thyself and keep thy soul diligently, lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen, and lest they depart from thy heart all the days of thy life. But teach them thy sons and thy sons' sons. So, Yahweh said that we should teach these laws and commandments. Because if you look at the Bible, it's like the most hated, the most purchased, the most stolen book throughout history, you know, the most misunderstood book. That's why it's been documented and kept because this is truly the most high's word. So that we won't forget the, the marvelous things that he's done, his glory. This is Psalms 78 and 5. For he established his testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded for our fathers, that they should make them known to their children. He never said to the world, to our children, to our bloodline. For he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law. Now let's go on to letter Bible at org and look at that word point, right? And that's Strong's H7760. Shawam. Shawam is the word, the Hebrew word for a point. To put, to place, set a point, make, to put, set, lay, put or lay upon, lay hands on. So that's like violently. To set direct, direct to word, extend, like compassion figuratively speaking, to set, ordain, establish, found, constitute, make, determine, fix. Let's go to Psalms 147 and 19 to 20. He sheweth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation, as for his judgment they have not known them. Praise ye, Yahweh. Right, so the most high clearly said that he has not dealt so with any other nation, and they don't know it. It says Isaiah 59 and 20 to 21. And the Redeemer shall come to Zion, and unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob, saith Yahweh, As for me, this is my covenant with them, and a covenant, covenant is an agreement, a seal. Right, saith Yahweh, my spirit that is upon thee. And my words, which I have put in thy mouth, shall not depart out of thy mouth, 
nor out of thy seed, nor out of thy seed seed, saith Yahweh, from henceforth and forever. So we can go in and out. Now some may say that that's unfair, that the Mosai only gave his word to one specific people, but they did have a chance, and that's clearly written in scripture. Mosai cover all areas in, in this whole scriptures, right? He's not unrighteous, he does not pervert judgment. This is um Psalms 15, verse 16 to 17. But unto the wicked, Yahweh say, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes? And the wicked will be so called Caucasians, Chinese, Arabs, Hamites, also known as Africans, because we're not Africans. The Negroes are not Africans, we're Israelites. And unto the wicked, Yahweh say, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth, seeing that thou hatest instruction? instruction and casteth my words behind thee. Now when did this happen you might be asking. So let's go to um second Ezra chapter nine verse eighteen to nineteen. And now when I prepared the world which was not yet made even from them to dwell in that now live, no man speak against me. Nobody disobeyed in Mosai at that point in time. They had the choice and they made their choice. For then everyone obeyed but now the manners of them which are created in this world that is made are corrupted by a perpetual seed. And the perpetual seed of today in the so-called white race. By a perpetual seed and by law which is unsearchable or rid themselves. So that's the law of sin. Their laws, alright? We dealt with the Old Testament, now let's deal with the, um, the Apocrypha, showing that Mosai kept saying one thing and over. This is the book 4, verses 1 to 4. This is the book of the commandments of Yahweh, and the law that endured forever. So Christ and Kama done away with the law. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. Give not thine honor to another nor things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. So we're not even supposed to share this with the other nation. There will come a time when they will learn it will all whereby all knees shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is Lord and they will have to abide by these laws thoroughly. O Israel, happy are we for the things that are pleasing to Yahweh are made known unto us. And he said the whole world unto us. Second Ezra chapter three verse thirty three to thirty six, and yet their reward appeareth not, and their labor hath no fruit, for I have gone here and there through the heathen, and I see that they flow in wealth and think not upon thy commandments. So when this is Ezra speaking to uh, Uriel, Yahweh sent Uriel so that he could uh, reveal some things to him. When he said, "Yet their reward appeared not." Some of the children of Israel, our reward has not appeared. And our labor hath no fruit of keeping the Haubash and the laws. And he went to the heathens and they flow in wealth, but they don't even care about your command, care about your Haubash and the commandments. Verse 34 Weigh thou therefore our wickedness now in the balance and theirs and theirs also that dwell that dwell the world. And so shall thy name nowhere be found but in Israel. You know, that's a twofold part when it says, and so shall thy name nowhere be found but in Israel. His name literally is found in Israel. And likewise, when it says name, it says reputation, his reputation of, of high integrity, but only in Israel. Or when was it that they which dwell upon the earth have not sinned in thy sight? Or what people have so kept thy commandments? That's what he's asking Uriel. I'll read again. Or when was it that when they which dwell upon the earth had not sinned in thy sight? As in which day did they sin? The other nations, heathens. Or what people have so kept thy commandments? Who kept Yahweh Hashem Yahushai commandments? He's asking you real. Thou shalt find that Israel by name, again twofold, a literally name and reputation, by name hath kept thy precepts, but not the heathen. But he did give them a chance, and we were keeping tabs basically. All right, this is Sirach 36 and 11 to 17. Gather all the tribes of Jacob together and inherit thou them as from the beginning. O Yahweh, have mercy upon the people that is called by thy name and upon Israel, 
whom thou hast named thy firstborn. O be merciful unto Jerusalem, thy holy city, the place of thy rest. Fill Zion with thy unspeakable oracles, and thy people with thy glory. Now oracles means thy prophets, sorry. And thy people with thy glory. Give testimony unto those that has possessed from the beginning and ways of the prophets that have, that have been in thy name. The prophets from before, which are, are Israelites, there have never been no other prophets in the Bible other than Israelites. Reward them that wait for thee, and let thy prophets be found faithful. O Yahweh, hear the prayer of thy servants according to the blessing of Aaron over thy people. That all they which dwell upon the earth may know that thou art Yahweh, the eternal power. But just goes to show that the Israelites, the prophets, all came from Israel. Now the New Testament, we dealt with the Apocrypha and the New Testament, right? Matthew chapter 10, verse 5 to 6. These twelve Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any cities of the Samaritans, enter ye not. So Yahweh Shai was telling his disciples, Don't go to these heathen, from where you must go, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So he was recruiting prophets of Israel to, to teach his people. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And if you read the whole chapter, you will not mention anything about those Gentiles, right? The Gentiles are lost, lost sheep of the children of Israel. And you know, you have to be in the Greek. And in the Hebrew time, Hassan, when it's speaking about the Gentiles and the other nations, and the Gentiles as Israel. This is Luke chapter 1, verse 16. And many of the children of Israel shall he turn turn to Yahweh, their power. This is talking about John the Baptist. So we're just bringing out whereby many of the children of Israel shall he turn. Because the heathens don't care about the commandments, as you read earlier. It was Hebrews 8 and 10. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith Yahweh, I will put my laws in their mind and write them in their hearts, and I will be to them a power, and they shall be to me a people, and that's possessive. And now, to close this look even further, because as you notice, I like to be thorough. This is Luke 24 and 44, and he said unto them, These are the words which I speak unto you. While I was yet with you, and all things must be fulfilled which are written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. So Yahweh Shai was saying to his disciples, who were ignorantly called Jesus, all these things must be fulfilled in Moses, in the prophets, and in the Psalms concerning me. So let's go back to the law of Moses. So Deuteronomy 29 and 1. These are the words of the covenant which Yahweh commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel in the land of Moab, beside the covenant he made which them made with them in the land of Horeb. Uh, going now to the last verse of this chapter, Deuteronomy 29, 29. The secret things belong unto Yahweh our power, but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children, forever that we may do all the words of this law and that's the gift of children of israel we've been given this word this book is ours and ours only and um you know this is just an ice on the cake to those sincere akim akwapi my children i may see this video yeah this gift that you have from yahushai has given us it's right before our eyes and even wrote that right here this is deuteronomy 13 verse 12 to 16. it is not in heaven that thou shalt say who shall go up for us to heaven to bring it unto us that we may hear it and do it. Neither is it beyond the sea that thou shouldest say, Who shall go over the sea for us to bring it unto us that we may hear it and do it? But the word is very nigh unto thee in thy mouth and in thy heart that thou mayest do it. Now don't get carnal and say, Oh, this already in me, I don't need to read it. The main scriptures that show that we should meditate on scriptures. Um, Psalms 119, Psalms 101, Joshua 1 and 8. See, I have said before thee this day, life and good and death and evil, in that I command thee this day to love Yahweh thy power, 
to walk in his ways, to keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgments, that thou mayest live and multiply, and Yahweh thy power shall bless thee in the land whither thou goest to possess it. Alright, and with that, it was edifying. Shalom, Brachta.